Well, hello. It is Thursday morning. We get together live on Friday, don't we? I hope you're getting excited about that. It'll be nice to see you Friday. Is it someone's birthday this week? I'll have to check. I wonder if we'll be singing happy birthday again. That'll be fun. We're going to move forward in the book of Exodus. We're following the story of Moses, aren't we? Uh, Yesterday, we we saw how uh, God um, explained his law, how it applied, and what it meant to love our neighbor. And really, we're going to skip a little bit ahead now. The next big story is the story of the golden calf in the book of Exodus. Uh, Aaron and Joshua, let's get these pictures right, shall we? Here we go. Aaron and Joshua were left in charge of the Israelites while Moses went up to the top of Mount Sinai to speak to the Lord God. Uh, They waited for 40 days for Moses to come back down the mountain. It seemed so long that they thought he must have died. We don't know what's happened to Moses, the people complained. Uh, We'll make our own God and worship him. We're tired of waiting. Aaron told the people to bring their golden earrings and to make them into a god. He melted the gold in a big melting pot in a very hot fire and made a statue of a calf out of the gold they'd collected. Tomorrow, they said, tomorrow we'll have a feast and pray to our new god. Go home and prepare a meat offering to burn on the altar. Awful, isn't it? The next day they burnt their offerings and danced and sang, but a calf made out of gold was not a real living God and couldn't hear or answer prayer. Moses came down the mountain, was very upset to see the people praying to an idol, so he destroyed it. Then the people were sorry and they repented. They turned back to the Lord their God and worshipped only him. It's funny, isn't it? As soon as people are given the law, that's the first thing they do. They break it. We were never going to get to heaven by obeying the law. We needed a saviour to rescue us from the punishment of the law. And that's why Jesus came. We'll have a song and then we'll come back to our question and answer. Well, here's our question and answer for this week. Remember, we're thinking about the seventh and eighth commandments. Next week, we'll do the final two, won't we? We'll do nine and ten. But this week, it's eight and uh, sorry, it's seven and eight. What does God require in the seventh and eighth commandments? And the answer is this: seventh, that we live purely and faithfully. That's the do not commit adultery commandment. Eighth, that we do not take without permission that which belongs to someone else. That's the commandment not to steal. Here's our prayer for the week. Our Heavenly Father, teach us to live as Jesus lived. He lived the perfect life and is the perfect sacrifice for our sin. Forgive us for our sin and strengthen us to live a life of faithfulness and honesty. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, now it's time for Joel's back.
So no more Joel's mum's jokes. Now it's Joel's joke of the day. Where do sheep go to go get their haircuts? The barbers. Ha, ha, ha.